In this example, uh, we're going to maximise x plus 4y subject to x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15, to x plus 5y is less than or equal to 28, x squared equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, using the simplex algorithm. OK, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm instead going to rewrite these. I'm going to maximise p equals x plus 4y. But then I need to get it into the standard form. So I need to subtract x and 4y from both sides and have it equal 0. OK, so that's the first thing there. Subject to, so x plus 3y, and I'm going to add on a slack variable, s1, to make it equal to 15. And I'm going to add on a slack variable here, so s2 is equal to 28. OK, and uh, I'm going to write down that s1 and s2 are slack variables. OK, right. So now I'm ready to go into the simplex tableau. So P, X, Y, S1, S2, and the right-hand side. OK, so first bit here. So P is 1, X is minus 1, Y is minus 4. S1 is 0, S2 is 0, and the right-hand side is 0. So this is going to be equation 1. Then I've got 0 p's, 1x, 3 y's, uh, 1 S1, and 0 S2's, and 15. And that's going to be equation 2. And then I've got 0 p's, 2 x's, 5 y's, 0 S1's, 1, S2, and 28, and that's going to be equation number 3. So that is my initial tableau. Okay, so I look along the top row, and I look for the most negative value, which is the minus 4, so this is going to be my pivot column. I then do 15 divided by 3 which is 5, and 28 divided by 5. So, I should be able to do that one in my head, shouldn't I? 28 divided by 5 is 5.6. So we go with the smaller of the 2, so that was that one, and so that tells you that the 3 is going to be your pivot. Okay, so where did I put it? Put my border razor, there it is. Okay. So, uh, we're going to set up equation number 4, 5, and 6. Okay, just draw a line under those for the moment. So, um, equation 2 will become equation 5. And I need to get that as 1, so I'm going to divide that row through by 3. So, equation 2, or row 2, divided by 3. So 0 divided by 3 is 0, 1 divided by 3 is a third, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 divided by 3 is a third, 0 divided by 3 is 0, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So row 1 is going to become row 4, but I need this to be 0 here. So I'm going to need to have minus 4 plus 4 lots of 1 to make that 0. So I'm going to have row 1 uh, plus 4 lots of row 5. So 1 plus 4 lots of 0 is 1. Minus 1 plus 4 lots of 1 third. So minus 1 plus 4 thirds will be 1 third. Minus 4 plus 4 lots of 1 is 0. 0 plus 4 lots of a third is 4 thirds. 0 plus 4 lots of 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 lots of 5 is 20. Row 3 is going to become row 6, but I need this to be 0. So uh, I've got 5 there currently, so I'm going to need row 3 and take away 5 lots of row 5. 
So 0, take away 5 lots of 0, is 0. 2, take away 5 lots of 1 third, would be 1 third. 5, take away 5 lots of 1, will be 0, by design. 0, take away 5 lots of 1 third, is minus 5 thirds. 1, take away 5 lots of 0, is 1. 28, take away 5 lots of 5, is 3. So then the question becomes, are we done? Well, yes, we are done because there are no negatives in the top row. So I cannot uh, improve uh, my value of p any further. Now, in this case, y has become basic from being non-basic. S1 was basic and is now non-basic. But at the end of it, x and S1 are both non-basic. So that means that x is 0 and s1 is 0, whereas p is equal to 20, uh, y is equal to 5, and s2 is equal to 3. So p, y and s2 are basic, x and s1 are non-basic. So, when we are maximising x plus 4y, the maximum occurs when x is 0 and y is 5. 0 plus 4 lots of 5 gives you the 20, which we got there.